So looking at the uh, PCIDSS requirement 2.2, uh, or really any of the other frameworks that you might be assessed for, we want to make sure that you're basing your hardening standards after an industry best practice. Now this isn't to say that you can't customize your hardening standards, but really you have to have a documented set of standards that defines how you go about building your assets. Most organizations, if they have a server, they might have a hardening document. Um, and, and we often find that a lot of customers that we have are challenged in this area. There's a lot of industry standards out there that you can look at, NIST, NSA, SANS, they, they all have published standards, Microsoft, um, Red Hat. You can uh, publicly get access to the hardening guidelines and hardening standards that they publish. What we recommend is, as, uh, as assessors is you get a copy of those documents and you look through those assets, you look through those documents uh, and you, you document your hardening standards that make business sense for you. Once again, what we're going to ask for from an assessment perspective is we're going to pull the actual configs off these servers. We're going to pull your hardening standards and we're going to look for this one for one comparison that says, you know, if you do these, if you have this server or this application, these are the things that you do. Understand as well as that these hardening guidelines and hardening standards are just not about your servers. They extend to your applications, your databases. Uh, they extend to the workstations as well. Uh, there's a lot of different technologies that are called out within the PCI DSS, file integrity monitoring, um, you know, encryption uh, solutions might be utilized. But effectively what we're looking for is a set of guidelines that define how you harden your systems. The intent behind these documents is that if we have a, a new individual that we come in that comes into the environment, or we have an employee that might leave, is that you could provide them this documentation, and that this documentation be written to a level that if they understand the, the general technology that they're working with, at the end of that practice, those systems will be fully hardened and ready for production.